the past three weeks I was a little bit worried because I couldn't move my toes. And there was this little voice inside my head that was like, ah, oh, ugh. Yesterday in the evening I still was like, oh shit, the foot is swollen again, I cannot move my toes, is something wrong? And this morning I got up and I just opened my eyes, I was still in bed, and somehow I tried to move my toes and it worked. I could move them. There's some very, very exciting news with you. Look at that. This is my foot. And my foot was not well for the past three weeks. I couldn't even move my feet. It was bloody all over the place. I can even move my toes again, slowly, slowly back to normal. And this after yesterday in the evening, I me feeling like I was really wasted yesterday in the evening, my foot was swollen again, I was a little bit afraid that this whole dynamic is coming back and I didn't know what happened. I, I was cold and hot at the same time, I went to bed early and this morning I woke up and I feel like a new person. And I now finally realize what happened yesterday and I have such an incredible amount of appreciation for this wisdom of my body. Let me explain to you. These are the five biological laws and they helped me tremendously in understanding what was going on with my feet. And this describes a typical process of any symptom. First, everything is normal. Then, you're suffering a conflict shock and you're in the conflict active phase. Which means, for me, given the tissue that was affected, the dermis, this is the second layer of the skin, the dermis is here to protect us and the dermis got really really swollen and this is a typical symptom of the conflict active phase. There's a tissue plus and um, as a result like the whole thing feels like very swollen. Then there's the conflict resolution phase when uh, the conflict is resolved and then it turns into the other direction. There was a lot of pus coming out of the wound Pos in German means Eiter. Here the foot was open, still is a little bit, but almost almost done. And um, the swelling goes uh, goes back. And then there's a short phase, it's called the epicrisis, a phase that is taking place um, at maximum four hours. And this is what happened yesterday. This is a small peak into the symptoms of the conflict active phase again. I feel like I feel like three weeks ago, yesterday in the evening, like it was swollen again, it was hurting, and this is like the final, the final last peak where um, the symptoms of the conflict active phase are present, and then after that, conflict resolution phase B, the second part of the conflict resolution phase, and then slowly back to normal. And this is how I feel this morning, like my foot feels almost, yeah on the way back to normality. Without this knowledge of the five biological laws, it would have been so easy to interpret yesterday as, oh no, the disease is coming back or whatever. And this is what, what happened to me as well. I didn't, I didn't understand what was happening yesterday in the evening, in the moment. Only now I realize, oh my God, wow, I was in conflict uh, resolution phase A for the past two and a half weeks. And max three weeks is, what this, um, how long this phase can take. And then this short peak of max four hours of the AP crisis and then conflict resolution phase B. So, <laughs> incredible, incredible. <laughs> Yesterday in the evening I, I thought like, okay, tomorrow no, you will stay in bed like the whole day. You cannot bring Leo um, to, to Uluwatu to his mommy and do all sorts of errands. And now in the morning I got up and felt like, a new person. So let's do it. The first, <sighs> the first adventure beyond these walls is taking place today. Yeah.
after two weeks and six days of just staying inside. <laughs> what a special moment. Mm. Oh, one more thing. Um, <laughs> it's crazy. For the for the past three weeks, I was a little bit worried because I couldn't move my toes, and there was this little voice inside my head that was like, "Ah, oh, uh, you cannot move your toes." Mm. And then yesterday in the evening, I still was like, "Oh shit, the foot is swollen again. I cannot move my toes. Is something wrong?" And this morning, I got up and I. I just opened my eyes, I was still in bed, and somehow I tried to move my toes, and it worked. I could move them a little bit. So this numbness is part of the conflict resolution phase A as well. Because of this tissue plus in the conflict active phase, there's a tissue minus in the conflict um, resolution phase, and this goes hand in hand with this numbness, with this like immobility. Because it just makes sense. You're there to rest. You're there to like, let your body do its thing. <laughs> what a miracle. What a miracle. Hello, hello. Thank you, thank you. Ah, nice. Thank you so much for coming. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Is it heavy? How are you? Are you good? Good. Good. Yeah, nice. Look at that, here we have the cutting board for the kitchen. Beautiful, and this is our low table. Oh. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's foldable, so that you can just take it wherever you want to sit with it, wherever you want to work. It's all teak wood, handcrafted in Bali. with us in the mountains and now one week with mommy in Uluwatu. We had some beautiful lunch together, made plans for future co-creation regarding Custodia. Yeah, full circle. <laughs> really, really beautiful. And uh, I did a quick stop at the barbershop. I feel like a human being again after three weeks of <laughs> just staying in bed and like being wasted. Yeah, slowly transitioning into the outside world again which feels very nice. And now we're gonna do a stop at Hevea. Hevea, our friends who are supplying uh, the Custodia tents with everything needed for a maximally beautiful and restful night. The mattresses, bed sheets, and some other things as well. And they produced a custom-made Custodia mattress or to be precise, two custom-made Custodia mattresses, which we will now pick up to test, to test sleep. <laughs> and then we're gonna choose which one we will produce and um, will be our, our mattress for Custodia. Epic, like I'm so grateful for this co-creation. This is like fully value aligned. Yeah. I got to know Stefan, the owner of Hevea. He's doing beautiful stuff. They are certified B Corp. They are like really caring about the planet and just epic work, epic, epic, epic work. It's an honor to con collaborate with them. Oh, 
Right. This one we need you firm. Mm -hmm. And the other one was, let me check it. Mm -hmm. Ja, ja, das trocknet glaube ich schneller, weil das dann eine größere Oberfläche hat. Das ist gut. I was testing all the various mattresses and pillows and so on and uh, when the battery dies the whole clip is gone I just realized but back home after quite a successful day um, we have two mattresses now for trial and they have different um, hardnesses and two pillows and the beautiful heavy linen um, duvet and the cover and the towel for trial and yeah we basically um, get one item of everything they have in the shop <laughs> so this is trial mode for the next two days of course sleeping on the floor um, back in the game after three weeks of um, involuntary um, foot caused break and um, on Tuesday we need to place the final order so that everything will be manufactured by the end of November. Let's see. But yeah, all in all, it was a beautiful day to be outside again, to participate in life um, again. And at the same time I sensed it for my food. The next couple of days will be more restful. There's still still things going on and um, yeah not fully back to normal but a little bit of a glimpse <laughs> of what life is beautiful day see you guys tomorrow and then we're gonna start with a review <laughs> of our floor sleeping floor, sli floor sleeping mattresses they are by the way 7.5 centimeters so it's quite yeah it's a little one and still it feels comfy for now. <laughs> See you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.